We're out here in some tall grass prairie in Nebraska, and I'm with Sky Wills, who is a soil scientist with the NRCS's National Soil Survey Center. And Sky, I was just fascinated by our conversation earlier about the work that you do in dynamic soil properties, and I'm particularly interested in how that works with farmers. Will you explain to me very briefly, and really in terms of how farmers think of it, what are dynamic soil properties? Sure, well, I think about dynamic soil properties as any property that changes with time. And farmers are usually most interested in those that change with management systems. What I would like to say to farmers about dynamic soil properties is we know that what you have right now may or may not be what the potential of your soil is. I would, I would like to introduce the idea that the soil properties can be improved, that as a farmer, the way you manage the inputs, the amount of disturbance, tillage, pesticides, the crop rotation, those all influence the soil properties today. And the soil properties today influence what you're going to be able to do tomorrow. And in this climatic landscape where everything is changing, the crops we can grow, the yields that we're able to obtain, the price of fertilizer, the price of di diesel, these are all unknowns. But with good management, your soil should be able to withstand all of that. You have the most opportunities and the most potential with the best managed soil. Help me understand why the idea of dynamic soil properties has only emerged now. It doesn't seem to be a very much common currency in farming circles, in agronomic circles. Well, the, the term dynamic soil properties has really arisen from the intersection of soil survey and a traditional approach to mapping landscapes and soil management and especially soil health and soil biology which are emerging fields although they've been around for a while it's just now there's some synergy between those different areas and i think that we're starting to learn each other's terminology and we're finding that this idea of dynamic soil properties is common ground it's something we can all understand we can all talk about together and we can really use it to integrate and hopefully expand our research and knowledge